Hi, my name is Kellyn and welcome back to my channel! So in today's video, I'm going to be painting a Minecraft Dream figure. So if you don't know me or you're new here, you may actually recognize my series from over on TikTok or Instagram Reels, where I paint Minecraft blocks or Minecraft YouTuber skins. That's my most recent series. I've done so many of these so far and I love doing them and you guys seem to love watching them too. But anyway, today I'm going to be doing another one of those where I'm going to be doing Dream Skin from the Dream SMP. But before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that my figures are all 3D printed. But you could totally DIY these in a different way. I think it would be quite difficult But I'm pretty sure you can get printouts where you like print them out and then you fold them to make them 3d But I'm not sure but I just wanted to let you guys know that you can actually order these over on my Etsy store now I had so many Instagram DMs that was like I really want to make one of these myself So I listed them on Etsy you can get a three pixel version or a four pixel version Which is just the difference between the thickness of the arms But if you guys are really keen to do this yourself and you want to use the same materials that I'm using including the the 3d printed like model i've put a link to my shop in the top of the description box down below and it'll be a link to the actual listing too but anyway before we begin if you guys are new here it would mean the world if you could like and subscribe because it really helps me out but anyway let's just begin with the tutorial okay so let's begin with the things you're gonna need so as i mentioned we're gonna be using a 3d printed model today you can order these from my etsy or you can diy your own i recommend having the pieces unassembled because it's much easier to paint them before they're glued together so we'll glue them together at the so end so here are all the individual pieces you're gonna need a head a torso you're also gonna need two legs and you're gonna need two arms you're gonna need the three pixel versions of the arms there's also a four pixel version but dream uses the three pixels you're also gonna need some sandpaper you're gonna want this especially if you're using the 3d models because they can be a little bit lumpy in places you can skip this step but i quite like to sand my designs the next thing you're gonna need is a pencil i'm gonna be using a mechanical pencil because i love how precise the nibs are and they also come with a rubber included you're also gonna want a ruler these are essential for getting the measurements right because it's very specific because there's so many little pixels. You don't need one as big as this, you can just use a little one, but this is just the only one that I have. <laughs> You're also going to need some sort of paint. I'm going to be using acrylic paint today. I'm using Arteza. You're only going to need the colours green, white and black. And finally, you're going to just need a paintbrush. I'm going to be using these small precision De La Rowney ones, but you can use any that you have, but the smaller the better because these designs are so small. Oh, also you're going to want to get some glue. Apparently I forgot to film it, so I'm going to be using some super glue, but I recommend using something different because super glue can be super scary but anyway let's just start so to begin you're gonna want to grab your 3d printed pieces i'm gonna start by working on the head but you can start with any piece you want and i'm just gonna go ahead and sand down all of the sides this step can be super time consuming so you can skip it if you like but the smoother the sides are the easier they are to paint so once i was done sanding the head i moved on to sand everything else but i did this off camera and then it was time to grab my pencil and ruler so the next step is to make a grid on every cube but we're just gonna do this on the head to begin with so you're gonna want to start by grabbing your ruler and placing it along the top of the cube and then you're going to want to put a mark every 2.5 millimeters across. You're then going to want to use these markings and pull them all the way down using your ruler until they reach the bottom of the face of the cube. You're then going to want to flip your cube 90 degrees and repeat the process along the other side. Starting with the markings and then you're going to want to pull them all the way down the face and then eventually you'll have your grid. This step is super time consuming but the more precise you can be the easier the painting process will be. Once you're done with that step you should have something that looks a little bit like this. As you can see, I'm not going to be repeating this on every side of the cube because luckily for us, Dream Skin is just all the details are on the front. Luckily, the top, the bottom, the back and the sides are all one solid colour, so that makes it super easy for us. But as you can see, I repeated the grid on every other piece. I'm going to show you a close-up of each one so you can copy mine if you're unsure of what to do on each piece. So here's the grid on the torso, here it is on the legs, and here it is on the arms. But as I mentioned, the grids are just on the front, you don't need to do the sides. Anyway, once you're done with your grid, I went ahead and grabbed my acrylic paint and we're basically going to mix a perfect neon green to start painting. So we're going to start by working on the head and this little strip across the bottom is going to be painted black later but the rest of it you can paint green. So this bit you can just pretty much paint over your whole grid but we had to do the grid so that we'd get the strip perfect along the bottom. But I just went ahead and painted that whole section but don't worry too much about being perfect because it's super easy to fix any mistakes with acrylic paint. Eventually once you're done painting the front it should look something like this and then you can go ahead and paint the sides green. So I went ahead and used the same green that I used on the front, on the sides, the back and the bottom and eventually 
essentially you should be done painting your head. So next up, we're going to paint the green on the arms. We're going to start with the left arm. There's basically just this little L across the top, and then there's one pixel in the left-hand bottom corner, which you also need to paint Once green. you're done painting the green pixels on the front of the left arm, we're going to move on to the right arm. Once again, there's this little L on the right-hand side of the right arm, and then there's another smaller L. It's just three pixels in the bottom right corner. Once you're done with that, all you need to do is paint the sides because we're done with painting the green pixels on the arms. I actually went ahead and grabbed a larger brush for this bit, so I went ahead and used the same green and I painted the edges, so I painted the sides and the top and the bottom, if that makes this sense. This part is so fun to do. I literally have so much fun just painting these large sections that are just plain, but eventually I was able to move on to paint the legs, so we don't actually have any pixels on the front, we just need to paint the sides. So like the arms, I just went ahead and used that larger brush and the same green and I painted the sides, the tops and the bottoms of both the left and the right leg. So at this point, we're pretty much done using our green paint once you're done painting the legs, because luckily for us, the torso doesn't have any green on it at all. Yay! So next up, we're going to do all of the black pixels. So I'm going to be using this System 3 Mars black paint. And we're going to start by working on the head once again. So on the head, we've only got to do this strip along the bottom. So I just went ahead and filled that in. Once again, don't worry about making any mistakes because you can easily fix it. I hope it. I'm making sense and I'm not taking too long over every step. I just want you guys to be able to follow along very easily. <laughs> once you're done painting that black strip, the head is complete. So you can put that to one side and now we're going to paint the legs. So we're going to start with the right leg. And as you can see, we're doing a one pixel wide strip along the top and we're also doing a one pixel wide strip all the way down the right hand You're side. You're then going to want to do the same thing on the left leg but instead of having the strip on the right side do it on we're the We're then going to move on to paint the pixels on the arms so as you can see I've done a dot for each pixel because it's kind of complex so if you're following along you can screenshot or pause here and you can copy but me. But obviously you can use a reference online too you can just type in dreams minecraft skin into google and you can find a reference there that's what I'm doing anyway. <laughs> and eventually you should be done painting all of the pixels on the left and the right arm. This was definitely the hardest Once part. Once you're done with the arms you can move on to paint the torso and as you can see I've done the dots again for you guys to follow along but I did it off camera and here it is done. So at this point you should be done except for the fact that I made a mistake and I made you guys follow my mistake. So as you can see I did the pixel one block too low on the right hand side so I went ahead and fixed that off camera. I'm so sorry. So once you're done fixing any mistakes that you made because of me. You should be able to grab yourself an eraser and you're able to erase all of the grids now because we're done using the grids. Yay! So now we're just going to grab our white acrylic paint and we're going to paint all of the white sections. If your model is already white like mine you don't have to do this step but I quite like to do it because if I've made any little mistakes it just fixes any little errors. So I just went ahead and painted all the white sections on the torso and I also did the arms and the legs and eventually your body parts should be complete and they're looking really good they look super Next neat. Next up you're going to want to grab your super glue or whatever glue you're using and you're going to want to glue the head onto the torso and make sure it's like exactly in the middle if you turn it to the Once side. Once that part's dried you can then glue on the arms. I did the left and then I did the right and then I went ahead and glued the legs on. As you can see I'm using super glue as I mentioned but you can use any glue you Try like. Try be as patient as possible with this step because otherwise Otherwise, the body parts will keep falling off, which is a nightmare. But eventually, you should be done. And this is the final piece. I hope you guys were able to follow along okay. And you have your own little cute dream character now that you can display anywhere or gift to someone. But these are seriously so cute. And now you're able to make whatever character you like. Here it is. Yay! I think it turned out so, so cute. I hope you guys were able to follow along okay and I included all the instructions you needed. This is quite a simple design. Carl skin is definitely one of the hardest ones that I did, but I actually think it might be my favourite. But if you guys haven't seen any of these videos so far, I'll leave a link down to my Instagram and to my TikTok channel down below so you can check out all the videos I've done so far. I think I've done about 10. But once I've done like painting Dream SMP characters, I'm probably going to do some other characters like Smallish Beans or LD Shadow Lady. I might even paint my own Minecraft skin because I just love playing Minecraft. But yeah, I'm super happy with how this turned out. This wasn't too long of a project. I think this whole design took me about two hours. But as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you guys don't have the supplies to make your own model apart from the painting bit, you can buy the 3D printed models over on my Etsy. They'll be linked in the description box down below. But that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you're new here, make sure to like and subscribe because it really helps me out. Also, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to let me know down in the comments section below because I I love doing what you guys want to see. If you guys have any suggestions for any other videos you want to see me do, if you want to see me do more Minecraft characters or more Minecraft vlogs, also let me know. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all next Friday at five. Bye!